We're considering Chapter 12 on Metabolism and Bioenergetics, and this is our second lesson on processing nutrients. Of course, the human diet consists of four types of complex biomolecules, proteins, nucleic acids, polysaccharides, and fats, especially triacylglycerols. In digestion, we break up those larger molecules to the monomeric form, amino acids, nucleotides, monosaccharides, and fatty acids. This actually begins in the mouth by the action of amylases. They help us digest starch. They're hydrolases that break the bond connecting those glucose polymers and we release the monomeric carbohydrates. They're found in salivary glands. You can test this yourself by simply biting off a piece of a saltine cracker and holding it in your mouth. Eventually it will actually become sweet because these salivary amylases are at work breaking those bonds and you're tasting the glucose that's released. Of course proteins are digested by proteases. They hydrolyze those peptide bonds and release amino acids. They're secreted in the stomach and pancreas. Fatty acids are digested by lipases. They clip off those three fatty acid chains and then in catabolic pathways will break them down further. Remember fatty acids are not true polymers but they do aggregate and they are part of our diet. Lipases are made in the pancreas and they're secreted in the small intestines. Everything we've looked at thus far is extracellular digestion whether it's salivary amylase in the mouth proteases in the stomach and small intestine, or lipases in the pancreas. This is not catabolism. This is digestion. Catabolism begins when we begin to break up the monomeric form inside the cell. These digestion products are absorbed by intestinal cell. Fatty acids oftentimes are reformed into triglycerides once they're inside the cell. Some may be linked to cholesterol. At the top of the screen here we have cholesterol stearate and you can see we've added a fatty acid chain to the OH on cholesterol. Much of our cholesterol is in the form of a cholesterol ester. These fatty acids could also be incorporated into larger particles called chylomicrons. These are lipoprotein particles, that is they contain both lipids and proteins. They may have cholesterol, cholesterol esters, triacylglycerols, those would be the lipid part, but also protein. We'll look at this more in detail in chapter 17, but for now just realize that the proteins are important to make these soluble in the bloodstream and lymphatic system. Remember, lipids are not soluble because of the hydrophobic effect. We need the proteins there to make them soluble particles. These chylomicrons deliver lipids to different cell types, but primarily it's sent to the liver for processing. Water-soluble compounds, such as amino acids and sugars, leave the intestinal cell cells and, are, and enter the portal vein, and that's illustrated at the top of the screen here. In the red circle, there's our portal vein, so we absorb them through the intestine, they enter the portal vein, and that leads to the liver. The liver receives the bulk of the nutrients in our bodies. It catabolizes them, stores some, or releases some into the bloodstream. So the liver supplies itself with, with nutrients, but also the rest of the body. It is the main processing plant in the body. In our next video lesson, we want to see in which form nutrients are stored and how the form of storage differs with the type of nutrient.